happy morning children welcome to online class today i take the topic unit 4 air first introduction and atmosphere experimental verification of oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen in air first introductions air is present everywhere around us we cannot see air but we can feel its present in so many waves for example we feel air when the tree rustle cloth hanging on a cloth line swave cloth hanging on a cloth line swave pages of an open book flutters when the fan is switched on when kids fly in the sky we cannot see touch or taste air but we can feel it it is the air that take all this movement possible thus we can understand that air is present all around us air is necessary for to live we can live without food for some days without water for few hours but cannot survive without air for more than few minutes so air is very important for our living being to survive when air is moving it is called wind it is cool and soothe the breeze when air move with force it can even uproot trees and blow off the rooftops air is necessary for breathing and also for combustion next atmosphere our earth is surrounded by huge envelope of air called the atmosphere atmosphere extends to more than 80 km above the surface of the earth and is held in place by the earth gravity the atmosphere protects us from many harmful rays coming from the sun the air envelope is thicker near the earth surface and as we go higher the density and the availability of the air gradually decreases this is because as we go higher the force of gravity decreases so it is not able to hold large amount of air the atmosphere is made of five different layers the troposphere the stratosphere the mesosphere the ionosphere and the exosphere the troposphere is the layer close to the earth it is the layer in which we live it is stand upward for about 60 km above the surface of the earth movement of the wind takes place in this layer it also contain water vapor which is responsible for making cloud this layer is responsible for the weather we experience on the earth aircraft usually fly above this layer to avoid strong winds and bad weathers the atmosphere the stratosphere live above the troposphere this layer has the ozone layer in it the ozone layer protect all life on the earth from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun next experimental verification of presence of oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen in air is air a things or a composite mixture for long time that is until 18th century human thought air has a fundamental constituent of matter however an kines experiment conducted by the joseph disley in 1774 so that air is not an elementary suspense but a composition or mixture of gases he was also able to identify a colorless and highly reactive gas which was later named oxygen by the great france chemist antoine lavoisier priestly took a top of water and made of float and placed a candle on it he covered the candle with a glass jar as the bottom portion of the jar was filled with water 
no air can enter or exit and hence the jar was completely sealed figure 1 as you would have guessed the candle flame was extinguished in a very short time he used a magnifying glass to focus the sun ray to light the candle the seed to relieve the candle many time without opening the sealed jar figure 2 the candle could not be relieved what can we make out of it it was clear that something in the air was being used for burning and being converted into another substance once the suspense in the air that was aiding the burning was completely used by the burning flame and converted into another suspense the flame went out later chemist named the suspense necessary for burning as oxygen and during the process of burning oxygen is converted most into carbon dioxide now as the jar was inside the water briefly could gently lift the jar and place a live mouse inside it without allowing outside air to enter the jar figure 3 without the oxygen as you would have guessed the mouse dead figure 4 it was clear that oxygen was necessary for the survival the mouse in the next step he gently left the jar and placed the mini plant figure 5 note look at the figure 5 you could see that the plant is inserted into the bell jar when the jar is very much inside the water this down to answer that the outside air is not entering into the bell jar plant being a living things like mouse prickes his throat would die instead the plant survived after placing the mini plant he lifted up the candle and it contained to ban figure 6 in fourth experiment he took a jar ban candle and convert all oxygen into carbon dioxide he placed a mini plant and a mouse into the jar both the plant and the mouse survive figure 7 he found that plant and animals have a sensory animals consume oxygen and release the carbon dioxide and the plant take up carbon dioxide and release the oxygen During 1732-1799, John Ingersoll saw that sunlight is essential to plant to carrying out photosynthesis and also to purify air that is fooled by breathing animals or by burning candle. From this experiment, it was clear that air is a composite mixture of many gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. Test for carbon dioxide in air. pour some lime water in a glass tumbler bubble some air using the straw through the lime water after a few minutes look like the lime water carefully the lime water will produce a white precipitate and that the lime water will evenly turn a milky white solution this is the presence of carbon dioxide in air today homework give very short answer what is atmosphere name the five layers of atmosphere thank you my dear students